So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in registry editor. Click on it and then click on yes. Now once you're on this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first we're gonna expand HK local machine. Then we're gonna expand software. Then we're gonna expand Microsoft. Then we're gonna scroll down and expand Windows. And now we're gonna expand current version. And now we're gonna scroll down and expand side by side. We're gonna expand side by side. And now we're gonna expand Windows. And now you want to expand x86 underscore policy. This one be kind of hard to find. So you want to expand the x86 underscore policy 9.0. And then you want to click on 9.0. Now once you're on this, you're going to have something called reg binary, which is this blue thing right here. You want to make sure that the number of the highest reg binary that you have in this folder is set as your data right here. So for me, in my case, I've only got one reg binary. You may have two or more. Or you want to make sure that the highest number, which is right here, is set as your data in your reg underscore sz. So I'm just going to double click on default. Make sure that this is the same number as this right here. You want to pick the highest number out of all the options that you have. Now for the second step, you want to head over to the link, which I'll leave down below in the description. We're going to scroll down and then download Visual C++. So you want to get the one for your architecture. So you want to head over to search and type in system information. Click on it. And now next to system type, it will tell you what's your architecture. So for me, I'm on 64 bit. For you, it will say either 32 or 86, which means that you're on 32 bit. So we're going to minimize this. And you want to download the one for your architecture. So for me, I'm on 64. I want to begin this one. Let's install it. Click on I agree. Click on install. And then click on yes. Now let's wait for this. And now you want to close it. Now you want to restart your computer.